things are happening with the midget, but today we're going to talk about how to not get scammed, right, Rich? Right. You know, work hard for your money. Don't give it to someone. <laughs> don't give it away. Don't give it away. If you don't get something, <laughs> don't give it away. That's that's the short form of what we're going to talk about. Okay, so somebody we uh, we know got a hold of me the other day and and asked, hey, I found saw this first gen dually. It's in really mint shape. It's a really good price. I got a hold of them. Uh, you think I should buy it? And I look at it and generally I don't, but I, I looked at the, the ad and he's like, my buddy thinks it's a scam. And first thing, if somebody thinks it's a scam, probably is. Probably is. And, and we really would just want to go over how to protect yourself and what to look for. In that ad, it said, I'm overseas, bad warning sign. Number um, one, number one, they're not, <laughs> they're not with whatever they're selling. Yeah. And that, that's like, if they're not there, yeah. don't buy it Bullshit. because yeah. So you get the stories of I'm in the army, I'm overseas, and no disrespect to anybody who actually is. It's just they use that to their advantage. Yeah. Um, get your wife or whoever to sell it, not you yeah. from overseas. We'll send a shipping company, uh, whatever. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether you're buying or selling, actually. It's the same type of thing. And, and if it's too good to be true, it generally is. It was a beautiful first gen, 2500 bucks. Not going to happen. No, no, no. So this, uh, this ad that somebody had me look at, he actually said that the VIN number um, was actually legit. Mm -hmm. um, now that gets tricky too. We had a, uh, we had a auto place in town that had a vehicle stolen. Yeah. Driving down the road, they um, saw their stolen SUV by the side of a barn, um, called the cops, said that's our truck. They went over and they said, well, the VIN number doesn't match because it's, um, it's not your VIN, it's not your truck but it had like very distinct lift kit, bumpers, stickers on the windshield, wow. but they're like, that is our truck. So they actually went in and they- There's um, a couple places you can check on the vehicle for different VINs. Right, but us being in salt belt, it's like, are you, like it's on the top of the frame, like underneath, it, it's not that easy to get at. But another way is to take just a scanner and get it into the computer. Oh yeah, it'll and, be in the- And the VIN number's in the east, computer. In the so if you, not everybody has access to a scanner, but if you're making a high dollar purchase, it's yeah. worth it to call somebody, call in a favor. Get the ownership. Yep. See and, whose name's it in. Yep, and mm -hmm. verify that the VIN number is the same as on the door and on in the windshield. So the way it goes is, oh, you know what? We'll get somebody to deliver the truck to you. You can see if you like it, um, but I need to have the 2,500 bucks. Um, we'll do PayPal, whatever. And then if you don't like it, we'll even take the truck back. It's like, you know what? Walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's no. gonna let you drive a truck for four or five days and then you take it through a bush or you rob a bank with it and then take it and then they take it back. It's not how yeah. it happens. Insurance companies don't allow strangers to drive your vehicles. So you gotta walk away. And even, I, I got scammed on one situation. I was buying a shipping container and the guy was in the area and sent him a down payment. Boom, never heard from him. Never got, not, never got a shipping container, never got nothing. You got a cash in hand, see it, and be ready to take it that day. There's the odd time where you, you know, you negotiate and you put a little bit down. Um, this guy, like dust in the wind, like, and you can't do anything. Can't do anything. Cops don't really care. It's not big enough. They're, they're swamped with like real crimes. Yeah. So these petty crimes, they get away with, you know, murder. So another thing to look out for is broken English. Uh, really poor English. The first email will be pretty they, yeah, good Yeah, that's English. the overseas stuff. Yeah. Right. And, and a lot of these scams are from overseas. Yeah. And, and uh, my buddy is a cop and he goes, we get reports weekly. Fill out the report, they take it, they put it in a file cabinet, never get seen again. Because yeah, it's, it's untraceable. So, it's so much. Yeah, they're not going to go overseas to get your money back. No, so well, they can't anyway. Ask a lot of questions. Yeah. The first email is generally very good English, but if you start asking specifics, you'll start getting like, oh, weird stuff. Weird English, yeah. Um, definitely look at the pictures in the ad yep. and look at the backgrounds. We've seen ones where, um, Oh, the ATV, like, the ATV. ATV and it's like in like Toronto, but there's palm trees in the background. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so those are some other things just to be wary of because every, like not, there are good deals to be had, but if they're too good, they're usually scans and they're everywhere. Like you can't, I could find probably 10 right now on, on free listing ads or even on eBay. Uh, I've got, I've bought scam stuff off Amazon. Luckily Amazon 
backs you and you get the money back. I don't know how they do it, but you get it. So that was they're a multi billion dollar company. They're, they're protected. But like I've even seen them on Amazon. There's fake ads on it. There are fake things being sold. Okay. So I've had it where I've tried to sell something. Yeah. I've sold my service truck. Um, they say, I'm really interested in your service truck. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? What's your bottom price? And I says, so oh, you, you take all the effort, you say, oh, yeah. this, this, and this. That's my bottom price. I said, sounds like a good deal. Um, we will we'll take it and we'll pay you. Um, it says, but um, what we'd like though is um, money to pay for the shipper and then oh, we'll yeah. add that. Somehow they're getting money from you yeah. or they overpay you. The problem is they're yeah. using a fake PayPal account. The, or, or they'll send you a bonus, bogus check. Right. And it won't be a real check. Right. So I, actually what happened to me with the PayPal is it actually looked like a legit, legit PayPal yeah. where you click on the link and it says, oh, this much amount has been deposited in your account. Uh, but no. And it looks like, oh, look, it's legitimately in PayPal, but it's not your PayPal. Somehow, yeah. I, I'm not sure how they did it. You got to be careful and you got when you get links like that, you got to look at the, the domain, yeah. look at the URL. Sometimes they'll hide it. Yeah. But you can you can usually figure out left click, right click, do some clicking, and you can see what it is without actually going yeah. to the thing. Now, I get that a lot too. The best thing to do actually is to get your wife to look at it. If you have a wife, if you have a mom, if you have hey, get somebody. Your mom. Every, most people have a mom, get your mom to look at it. If you don't somebody somebody that doesn't have the love blinders on, because you're like, it's a good oh, thing. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta jump on it, I gotta do it. <laughs> get it! <laughs> I've so with my tape boss, I went with a company that uh, um, it rhymes with Invent Schmelt. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the, the deal that they have is, look, we, we will uh, design your product for you. We're in, we're in uh, contact with hundreds of companies. We're going to pitch you to all those companies. Yeah. But we need $10,000. The second... That, no, no, seriously. And yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. we're going to design your product, and we're going to market you, and we're going to... Whatever. And, yeah. and these people are good. Like... I, I'm not a salesman. You you went, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. But you yeah. talk to them and you're like, yeah, that so sounds they're, legit, they're, right? They're selling you. But the second is, the second they have your $10,000, yeah. they're done. Yeah. That's like, so that's not a scam as like, it's illegal. They're saying, we'll pitch you to 100 companies. That means they have 100 companies on email list. We have this, it doesn't, the, yeah. we have this invention, enter. They fulfilled their contract yeah. without doing anything. Screwed. They do one of those things and you can, your money's gone. Right. You can't sue so, them, you can't do much. Right, you can't do anything. So what you can do with those companies, like look, if it's such a good deal and you have the companies in mind, make the deal and you can get a percentage of the sales or yep. something like that. Um, and, and that's a way to protect yourself and you'll find out again the smooth talkers, no, we can't do that, that's not how a company works. Like, well, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't work that's, with you. That's fine. We'll um, do it another way. Right. When we were doing that with that invention melt, um, it was like, well, I don't have the full amount. And they're like, well, we can do a payment plan. How much money do you have right now? And it's, mm, cool. it's, it's just warning signs. It's bad. Get a bad feeling. Walk away. And my wife actually saved me from that one. Oh, so nice. The day before, she's like, Rich eh. didn't know me at that time. <laughs> that's not a good idea. So, <laughs> <laughs> so somebody who doesn't have the love blind. Yeah, no, it's you know what? You. Always get try and get a second opinion on on when things throw up a flag, get a second opinion because yeah, like you're saying, lo love right. blinds and blinds right. you. And, and now we can't do that with cars because no, it's we like, just what like, do you think about this? And like, buy I'm it, buying it. Buy it, <laughs> buy it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm buying it. No, I'm buying <laughs> it. It's a terrible one. No, I'm buying it. That's terrible. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. And then you go out and you go buy it. Yeah, I yeah. put an offer on it. He took it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So what's your take on car proof? Getting the Carfax report. Uh, I've done some of the few, or I've done the, the free VIN checkers yep. and I've actually gotten some good information from them. Okay. But the thing is, is if they give you a fake VIN, that's a different story. Uh, I have not bought in cars because what I've seen on that and, and, and the level of accident repair that people just don't talk to you about because, you know, they want to hide that. Right. Uh, another thing you got to watch out for is VIN, like VIN swapping from a wrecked car that had a clean VIN. They don't all get branded titles. So there'll be, you'll go look at a car. It's a nice clean car. It might be a, a flood car. But they've swapped the VIN from a, from a wrecked car, but that didn't go through the system or it's from a different state. 
and boom, it'll come up clean and you won't have that information. So you gotta you gotta look at cars in person and you really gotta look underneath and, yeah. and get it checked out and get it checked out by a professional. You know, yeah. Yeah. you're gonna spend your hard earned money, spend the extra hundred bucks and make sure someone legitimate looks at it because it's way too easy to lose that hard earned money. So the Carfax thing, keep in mind that the only thing on Carfax is what people actually report. Yep. So if they get into a, an accident with another person and they go through insurance, yep. that's recorded. Fender benders if you smoke stuff. a deer and you've got 600 bucks to pay uh, a cobble up job on fixing a bent frame because you smoked a deer doing a 100 mile an hour, yep. that doesn't necessarily make it to the Carfax report. Nope. So it's only as good as what has been reported and yeah. not everything gets reported so nope. just keep that in mind yeah so if you guys have any scams that you've gone through if you've been uh on the lower end of the, the scam and you got scam comment down below so we can learn from each other yeah um if you know of any scams report them i have some fun with it the one with the atv there was barbed wire on the fence and, <laughs> and, I, and my reply to the email was does the barbed wire to protect people from breaking your legs at night because you because <laughs> you screwed over the wrong person and right away he's like <laughs> I don't make money like you. I have to work hard oh, and blah, yeah. blah, blah. So it was a scam and, and he feels that he's justified because we're rich. No, uh, yeah, North yeah, American, we're rich. Every, people don't realize that, yeah, we do live in a first world country. Yeah, we have a lot of privileges. Yeah. But still a lot of people here work hard to get what they have. Right. We, we're not giving it most of the time. No, we're not. Uh, Unless we're, we're Nigerian princes. <laughs> Yes, and we inherited that. It was inherited. Oh, it was you inherited yeah, like $10 billion. I am a and you lawyer. just got to send $1,000 to release the funds, which is a no-brainer. Millions. Millions. You get millions. I think it's in billions now. Really? Man. It's in billions. Nobody's collected yet. Yeah, yeah. So If it's know. a scam, second guess, sleep on it. Yeah. Um, and remember, if that good deal slips through your fingers, there's always another one. And, you know, if you guys don't want to get scammed, just write in your wills. Everything goes to DeBoss Garage, and we will look after it for you. No problem. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. Comment if you like these videos, and just have And comment if you person. don't, and yes, yes. tell us we look stupid. Because yes, I'm yes. fine with that. I like it. I don't. It hurts my feelings. It does, it does, but I like it. It's cool. <laughs>